the decentralized meta layer is going to enable this advanced orchestration between all the world's data, all the world's computations, and the smart contracts that define the contractual conditions of how the entire world operates. And I, I think that'll also extend to the need for enterprise systems to control contracts and interact with contracts in, in a scalable, highly reliable way. So I, I think the reason it's called the meta layer is because it basically sits between the blockchain world and smart contracts and all of the interactions that those smart contracts would need to have with the real world. And that includes connecting to an enterprise backend. It includes connecting to a data source. It includes sending a payment somewhere. It includes you know, verifying that something happened with a package. It, it includes all of those interactions and each of them is gonna be defined through this um, kind of singular service that's on chain, that's one of thousands and possibly eventually one of millions of services that I think just like there are multiple APIs going into um, a web 2.0 application, you're gonna see multiple oracles and oracle networks utilized by a smart contract. And the more complicated and the more advanced and the more value generating the contract is through, through more advanced and complicated use cases, I think the more that the services in the decentralized meta layer will become critical to it properly operating. And, and the meta layer really has um, this initial goal of providing all these services. And then eventually it has a goal of you being able to define a hybrid smart contract within the decentralized meta layer. And then the decentralized meta layer should allow you to put the on-chain code you need into whatever blockchains you need. It could even be multiple blockchains. And then it should also allow you to interact with all the off-chain systems that um, you need to orchestrate activity around with all those contracts. 